took a bus in the morning from Yang Shaw, 100 RMB bus ticket, 100 RMB entrance ticket, and I've got uh, 450 RMB left. And hopefully it's enough to play inside. I'm saving 100 by not taking the cable car. Walking, 40 minutes it should be. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well, I have arrived in my destination. This is it. I got myself this hotel room. This is 80 RMB, and now I can climb the mountain by myself for the sunset, and then come back in the evening, and then climb another mountain for the sunrise because the sun's coming from different directions. Better view. So that's where the tourists are going. The easy way. This is actually somebody's house. Upstairs bedroom, downstairs area, living room. A little bit of a view. I'd say a million dollar view. And uh, that's actually poppy seed. So I think I've stumbled on something I shouldn't have. I don't nothing. So finally we're getting to the business side of things. The actual rice fields. These don't seem to be set. These ones seem to be happening. I think the idea is just dig these dikes and the water, water coming down the mountain naturally flows into these dikes and into these terraces and pools of water where the rice grows. Not sure I'm not going to get much of a sunset thing happening. There's literally one break between the clouds with the sun coming out there and uh, yeah, the overcast. So probably not the best videos for the fires that are kicking off in random locations around on the first fields. I think what they do is they dig out the basic shape, uh, they let some grass grow on it, maybe they let the grass dry out, maybe they poison it, and what happens then is they burn it and that hardens the clay. And I think that explains how the terraces are able to um, be so find the shape and, and hold the shape for so long because obviously they can't maintain them all the time. So my town is over there. I could have stayed up there, there's hotels up there. Would have been pretty good uh, just to enjoy the complete sunset situation here until darkness and maybe some stars. Uh, but instead I think the view, if I climb from in the morning, climb that way, I think the view is actually going to be better. So maybe it's worth it to go down tonight. 5am in the morning to go to the special viewing point for the sunrise. Um, unfortunately nobody's awake to point me the way. So I'm just hoping to find a way there. This is probably the most remote place I've been to. The road is really windy, really, really narrow. They do get a few tourists in, but they go straight to the top of the mountain and you don't really get anyone else here. Um, and Sleeping in that little cottage house, the dreams I had, every five seconds I had a very intense new dream, so I don't know, this place, the remoteness, I think is worth it just for that. It's about 9am and unfortunately I still have to catch a bus down, walk down for an hour, catch a bus to Guilin, which takes about two hours, then from Guilin, catch a high-speed train to Guangzhou, from Guangzhou I go to Shenzhen, from Shenzhen somehow find myself in Hong Kong so that uh, I can catch my flight in the morning. But uh, the sun just came out for a second before, which was cool. It's going to be hard leaving this place. And I uh, got a ticket, and unfortunately, the earliest ticket I can get is to go to Guangzhou. And I will arrive about 7 pm. So I've got five hours 
to make it from Guangzhou to the border crossing in Hong Kong which could be fun, could be exciting or I could be crossing the border early in the morning which could also be very exciting and I'll get to see uh, Shenzhen and Guangzhou I took a risk and I bought a later ticket from Guangzhou to Shenzhen just so I can say that I've been in Guangzhou and now I've got maybe an hour to try to make it out of the train station and run around the city so this is the metro map exits so hopefully we'll see a bit of a cityscape it took me a while to figure this out but uh, we started off here and we only made it as far as here I wanted to make it here because an exchange should be busy but I just made it to the first one because it's just taking too long Please exit the train to the left. Got 15 minutes at this location. I can say I've been to Guangzhou. Of course, I only have uh, 30 RMB in my pocket, so I can't actually buy anything. Uh, that money should be just enough to get back to the metro and then get uh, through the metro on the other side in Shenzhen. Hopefully, half an hour to spare. Uh, should have gone further into the city center and made more, had more fun. I came from a mountaintop in the morning, came down, started coming down about 9am. Then I went uh, to my hotel, booked a ticket, rode the bus for two or three hours, uh, then caught a train, a high speed train, 500 kilometers away to Guangzhou, got out into the city, and now I'm gonna make it to Shenzhen. I won't get out into the city. Uh, but then uh, I'll go through passport control and arrive in Hong Kong with probably enough time to uh, grab one beer and then make it on the last ferry to Lama Island where I'm going to sleep tonight. Arrived in Shenzhen in 40 minutes, so it's uh, 10 o'clock now and I have two hours to make it to the passport checkout. New city, new metro. I have to go up four levels already, two elevators. And this is the second lift I have to take. <laughs> so I'm here. I thought I could cross here, but this one closes at 10.30. So I have to go down, change, and go to my usual spot, which I still got an hour and a half to make it to. It's funny, I made it. Uh, with thousands and thousands of uh, people going through. Turns out most of them, 99% of them were um, Hong Kong residents. And there was like maybe five mainland Chinese people without Hong Kong identity cards per crossing. And maybe five foreigners crossing as well. It's past midnight, so I can't catch the ferry across, which would be really sweet uh, from TST side to uh, mainland side to the central side. I made it to central side. But it's getting really sketchy because I'm about to have a beard like my phone and I'm still not sure if the ferry to the island is running at 2.30 in the morning. Finally talked to some police and they, after searching twice they said uh, yeah 2.30 is the go so I've got 40 minutes to make it to the ferry. Pretty empty everywhere I see almost none of the people. Yeah, shut up the lights. So the ferry's here in 20 minutes and they're gonna let me through. Yeah. Lama. I finally made it to the rooftop terrace. It's been a big, big, big journey for the last three weeks. Uh, special thanks, Kathy and Rafe. Thank you for letting me into your house and thank you for having me. I wish I spent more time with you guys, um, but I made it and uh, it's a big honor to be here and see you, see you guys next time.